Um, back in the uh, chair today, um, as you might notice, I've got glasses on. Uh, yes, I do wear glasses uh, sometimes, and uh, sometimes contact lenses. It depends on uh, my mood of the day and uh, what I'm doing for the day. Anyway, enough of that. Um, excuse me. I'll just have a sip of coffee from a teacup. How oh, refreshing. Um, so, I've not been, uh, I've made very many videos, so I've not been uh, on YouTube for a few weeks. There are various reasons for that. Um, I was a bit ill for a couple of weeks, um, nothing serious, um, um, but I uh, had to have some time off work and so on. And uh, just uh, like flu and chest infection and stuff, nothing nothing serious okay no one needs to worry um, I've also um, been a bit busy as well recently with a new um, games console I got it's a handheld games console it's this handheld games console the Nintendo Switch yeah um, it's the Switch Lite actually and um, I kind of put off buying the um, the switch because I didn't really uh, believe the hype and I didn't really I know it sounds awful but I didn't really feel like I needed one and I probably still don't need one let's be honest I have a PS4 and an Xbox One S I don't need you know it's surely I don't need any other um, current generation devices so yeah this is the not necessarily a retro video, just a chat, really. Um, so I've been busy. I got one game with it initially, and it was this. Yeah, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Um, now it, this is a. I think this is a good game. It has kept me uh, occupied for a while, and uh, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, I've kind of lost track of what I should be doing and just been adventuring and exploring which is one of the reasons why I like open world or sandbox games so for example I rarely play Grand Theft Auto if I do ever play it I basically just I got through all the tutorial missions and now just drive around in cars um, and uh, see what, what's about uh, with Skyrim, yeah, I do a lot of the missions, I guess, but um, I, I kind of play the, um, the story, and now I've gone back revisit it on the more modern formats, and so kind of just see where the game takes me. I, I don't try to. Uh, follow the main story necessarily. Um, similar with Red Dead Redemption 2, I haven't played that for a long time but um, I just kind of always go off track, I kind of never follow the main storyline um, because I just find other things to do in the game, occupy myself and then for a, like what seems like 10 minutes I realise an hour and a half has gone so yeah that's that's it. So Breath of the Wild is good. Um, I'm sure lots of you have played it. Um, if you haven't, I'd recommend it if you have a Switch. I got a Switch Lite because I wanted a handheld device. I wasn't too worried about um, being able to watch, uh, play the game on the big screen, um, but I wanted something that was mine that uh, I could play while other people were watching the TV, that sort of thing. The other game I got um, from a well-known uh, gaming outlet is Tetris 99. Um, two reasons really. I wanted a uh, physical copy of the game if I could, because you can download this for free. Um, if you buy the physical copy with the, uh, the cartridge, 
uh, which is actually in the switch at the moment. Uh, you get uh, a 12 month individual online membership for Nintendo and I thought for 17.99 it's not too bad a deal so I got that. I've been playing that for you know a week or so and it's um, it's very uh, it's very good. A uh, bit tricky uh, you are up against 98 other competitors if you're playing um, online but yeah that's part of the fun of it. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm enjoying playing on the Switch Lite. The other good thing about, I think, the good thing about the Nintendo Online membership is that now I have some access to um, SNES and NES games, and so some of them are pretty good. Um, I think one of them is called Breath of Fire, which is a bit of an RPG game. I started playing that, um, and there's. Link's Awake, uh, not Link's Awakening, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past on here for the SNES and um, the Zelda 1 and 2 on the NES. Um, so they're worth checking out for some other good games. Other things in the pipeline, I've actually pre ordered um, the PC Engine Mini. Um, and that, again, for a couple of reasons, had complete failure on hooking up my PC Engine to the interface and so um, put that project to one side and figure out what to do on that one. Um, I do have the European released which was completely I guess unacknowledged. I think the uh, European release of the Turbo Graphics which is probably unacknowledged by Konami or NEC or anyone to do with it. Um, but it does exist, it is out there, and it, it only plays American games unless you've got a PC Engine converter. And I do have the PC Engine. I wanted the um, PC Engine Mini because I want to be able to play it on modern TVs, and I want to be able to play some of the games on it which I couldn't afford. Um, Parasol Stars, um, Castlevania. Um, Star Soldier and some of the others. Um, I've got a collection of PC Engine games, and I'll probably, you know, do an overview of that collection at some point. But some of the games are just going up in price, and uh, I can't afford to pay pay anywhere between fifty and hundred pounds for one game. So on the PC Engine Mini, there's. I think 50 odd games and some of them are quite um, expensive if you buy the game individually. If you haven't got a PC Engine then I'd recommend you checking out the PC Engine Mini. That's a good kind of overview of pretty much all the decent games on the system as far as I know. When it comes around about 20th of March I'll do an unboxing video and uh, go through that in more detail. Anyway, um, excuse me. Hope you, everyone, is well. If there's any bad weather in your areas, I hope you're all okay. Uh, I know that there's been lots of uh, storm activity, flooding, and everything in uh, this country. I'm sure there are in other parts of the world as well. Stay safe, everybody. Um, stay calm if you can. And until next time, keep on going.